stories. Ten political parties appeal to people to participate in protests march against demonetizations and GST. Instead of good days coming, minorities are living in fear, says Dr. M. Nara. And Trade Come Permanent Exhibition Center at Lamboy Kong Nang Kong not developed properly for Sangai Festival. Hello, you're watching ISTV English News Bulletin. I am Lanchame Golme, and now let's hear the news in details. Chairman of Observation Committee against the demonetizations banning 500 and 1,000 rupees not on November 8, 2016, Emily Govindas Konthosam has appealed to the people to take part in the Black Day protest march to be held tomorrow. The committee is formed by 10 opposition parties, he informed. He said this while addressing a press conference held at the Congress Bhavan today. Leaders of the 10 opposition parties also attended the press conference. Addressing the media persons, MLA Govindas Kontosam further said, the protest march will be taken out from Congress Bhavan at 10.30 in the morning tomorrow. The processions will pass through Kuyathong, Minutong, Hatta and converge at Iboyema Sanglane Palace Compound, where a public meeting will also be held later. The committee chairman said the protest marches not only for the benefit of the political parties, it is rather for the betterment of the future generations. Many renowned economies of India and the world are going to present their views at the public meeting. <laughs> Fora Kayana, recognized over Adugumba economist Kayagi viewpoint sing a door Aduni Hayanga the Rivers. Mediagi Marupang sing the Mediada through the inner appeal to Zari Madudi Hayengi, Simberelli, I say Mapung Mapung Pahan view, Miami Sozok Pina view, Sozok Soydan Pibi Gani, Haibagi, Asietpa, Tazabudu Tamzari. A leaflet titled Protest Against Modi Made Disaster Demonetizations and GST was also released during the press conference. CPI State Secretary Dr. A. Nara said the protest march has been organized throughout the country in protest against the steps taken up by the BJP government at a center that has made the people suffer. He termed the ache of the BJP government undemocratic. Demonetization ki matunda Bharat ki praja singh kayam wagi bagi abesidi ai namu hanga chadra basu praja punu mana khangi paisa kai bi yada bagi paisa lai ta bagi mi punu maksi kok ta khut hap tana ha kar lau na bai du oi hri bane numit khuding ki pot maman sibu hongan ba a business man jing tu na lepning ba maman the lecture and pi hri por se is it not a looting kwak mai hai de sagun do bai da alam ni pramando they are looting the public Maduki businessmen in the Lutori was here, government in Tahun Benatra. See Punamaxi, demonetization, a sick Marie in Uba, Kayaboy, Maramaduna, Aquina, Hayangin will share, Black Diana Pound of Japani. Secretary of CPI, Dr. M. Nara, has said that even as Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been saying that good days are coming soon, the minority group of India are living in fear. He said this while attending the centenary observan observance of the Russian Revolution at Rup Mahal Theatre today. The observance was organized by CPI, Manipur State Council. Deputy Secretaries of CPI, L. Thoirain and L. Sotin Kumar, Secretariat Members, L. Iboyema, L. Lala, K. H. Yuvraj, and District Secretary S. Yaima also attended the centenary of the Russian Revolution. Addressing the gathering, Dr. M. Nara further said, the Narendra Modi-led government is more than three years old now. The leader who assured before the election that good days are going to come in India has now taken up various steps against the minority communities. The Muslim in India, whose population is more than that of the Pakistan, have been told that they cannot eat beef, which is a part of their food habit. The present BJP-led government even claims that India is a land of Hindus. Poor and innocent citizens of India are being kept waiting in the hope that the government will credit 5 lakh rupees each into the zero balance accounts that the government opened for them. On the contrary, rich people have become richer and poor have become poorer. People are suffering at various places across the country due to the aftermatch of more than 60 riots that have occurred since the BJP came to power at the center. 
Various policies taken up by the government are still traits to the integrity of the people of hills and the valley in Manipur. The feeling of attaining one society and socialism are the only ways to ease the suffering of the people. The October Revolution is observed to make the government and the people realize the importance of one society and the feeling of socialism, the CPI secretary maintained. Trade come permanent exhibition center at Lamboy Kong Nang Kong has not been developed properly for Shanghai Festival 2017. Improper drainage system is still visible in many parts leading to venue area of Shanghai Festival. Residents resented over the negligence of the government even though the festival is getting closer. Road leading to Lamboy Kong Nang Kong is in bad shape. Residents of the area have appealed to the government to look into the matter and make the Shanghai Festival a success. <laughs> ลำบีชิมเตชิมเดอะไรนี่ในเล็กโฮมน่ะอีสิงอ่ะชิหนุ่มขึ้นตาบะได้เล็กโฮมถูกตะนะอีสิงมายามันเลยนะจัดไปย
ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ ꯀꯥꯡꯈꯠꯂ ꯀꯥꯟꯗꯨꯗ ꯑꯀꯨꯠꯄꯁꯤꯡ ꯑꯁꯤ ꯁꯦꯝꯕ ꯍꯥꯏꯗꯅ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ ꯑꯊꯨꯝꯕ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ 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 ꯑꯩꯈ
now let's take a short break. Swiss rolls with exotic fillings from Winkies, the cake specialist. Swiss rolls with exotic fillings from Winkies, the cake specialist. Welcome back. One day awareness program on how to cultivate mustard plant with increased yields was held at Wangu Terra today. The awareness program was jointly organized by Directorate of Extension Education, Central Agricultural University and Wangu Terra Awang Laikai, Lomi Lut. Deputy Director of Research, Central Agricultural University, Dr. T. H. Robindro, Registrar of the University, Dr. K. Momocha, President of Kisan Morcha BJP, Nabakumar and member L. Jayanta were the main guests at the inaugural functions. In connections with the program, mustard seeds were distributed to the farmers. Dr. T. H. Robindro said the awareness program was organized to benefit the farmers of Wangu whose paddy fields have been damaged by the recent flood. <laughs> The great game is written by Bertha Liner has been translated into Manipuri as Nongpok Lamgi Sanaba and was released today. The book translated by Jugo Sai was released at the office of Miam Publications at Pauna Market. President Mala Kangjam Chauba, Secretary of CPI M. Sarat Salam, Director of Mutua Museum Mutua Bahadur and General Secretary of All Man Manipur Printing Work Welfare Association Takhe Lambam Arun attended the book release function. A team of Taubal District Commando and 5th JAK rifles apprehended a person along with one pistol during search operation conducted near Lilong Dam. The arrested person has been identified as Mohammed Yahia. On the other hand, Imphal West District Commando apprehended a cadre of KCP Nyon Group from Chingmeirong Mamang Laikai. The arrested person has been identified as Kuraijam Ingocha Singh, allies Black of Chingmeirong Mamang Laikai. Meanwhile, a team of district police, Commando Kakching and 39 Assam Rifles, during search operation conducted at Chairen Awang Lekai area, arrested a woman cutter of KYKL. The person has been identified as Soro Kaibam Anita of Chairen Awang Lekai, informed PRO of Police Department in a press release. State level Nupi Lal Ningsing Lamjel Organizing Committee in a press release has stated that 26 state level Nupi Lal Ningsing Lamjel will be held on December 12. Felicitation of Jila Parisat member, Pradhan and ward members of Changangai Gram Panchayat was held at Ipa Loyalakpa Ima Nungthe Leima Laibung at Taubungkok Awang Laikai. A showroom of Apollo Tire was opened at Gari Awang Laikai, FCI Road today. The showroom was opened at the MI Traders located. located. Rohit Singh, head of regional business unit, Goathi opened the showroom. Existence of some group who earns money by deceiving the students on the pretext of giving MBBS admissions in foreign countries at low cost has caused hardship to the students. Kumukjam Silaima has been unable to take up MBBS course due to such group of people who have collected money for MBBS admissions. It was found out that even though the admission fee was collected from the student, no admission was done, neither the visa was completed. International model Mayang Langbam Daina has apprised the Ministers of State for Ministry of External Affairs, General Vicky Singh, for the of the incident. She drew attention of the ministry so as not to repeat again in the future. 
Rice and kerosene at subsidized rates will be made available to below poverty lines family under National Food Security Act 2013. Councillor of Nambol Municipal Council, Somarendro, what member Ibungo Macha and member of Wood Development Committee drew the attention of the authority concerned to distribute rice and kerosene for beneficiaries of Nambol Municipal Council, what number 10 for the month of August, September and October. And now we have the national news. Many parts in northern India woke up to a hazy morning with, an, with air quality in the national capital dipping to severe. The Indian Meteorological Department said the haze was fog and not smoke, but air quality levels were the worst for the second time in New Delhi since Diwali. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, individual stations in Delhi and CR recorded AQIs as high as 446 at 9.30 a.m. Out of 19 monitoring stations in NCR, 12 recorded severe air quality. The lowest AQI was in Gurgaon at 357 at 9.30 a.m., which is classified as very poor. Once again, we have the top stories. Ten political parties appeal to people to participate in protests march against demonetization and GST. Instead of good days coming, minorities are living in fear, says Dr. M. Nara. And Trade Come Permanent Exhibition Center at Lamboy Kong Nang Kong not developed properly for Shanghai Festival. That's all we, that's all we got with ISTB English News Bulletin. Thank you.